always because I, I like ideas, I like perspectives, I like I like to bring in stuff from from everywhere, from philosophy, from from biology, from uh, Taoist thinking, whatever I come across. Um, something something that has remained uh, in my head since I first read it, and it's still influential, is the theories of, of Francesco Varela and, and uh, Umberto Matarana about mm -hmm. autopoiesis, mm -hmm. how, how uh, life is constructed in self, um, self-creating self systems, autopoiesis, self-creating systems, and um, in sync with, an, with, with the environment. And uh, the idea that an organism can be in sync or out of sync. Actually, that, that's not very long after Anna, but, but if you go from this idea that, that, that the, the, an organism, a single cell organism or a complex cell organism or a human being, uh, lives in an environment and uh, uh, their behavior is linked to the environment, it moves around in the environment, it does things, the environment presents a challenge and the behavior is a response to this challenge. And that there could be a mismatch. So the organism could think that the environment is different from what it is. Mm -hmm. So the perception can be, be sort of distorted, or because perception is partly, uh, partly a construction. So that could be a mismatch in there, so that the behavior a person is, uh, or an organism is doing, does not help it fulfill some, some task or some goal. So there is a, and, and the problem is not the behavior or the environment, the problem is that the, uh, it's out of sync. Okay, and, and, and you call this perception when it's... Well, per perception, I, I think that, that um, there's another day that, that's, that's been influential, that there's no sharp limit between perception and action. Mm -hmm. so, so we have to act to perceive, and we have to perceive to act. So they cannot really be, be, be separated. And that the nervous system is largely a, a movement machine, movement perception machine. So, machine is not the right word, but, but uh, uh, um, that's the task, that, that, that's the job of the nervous system, mm -hmm. to help complex movement. And for movement to be complex, you have to have a feedback on the effect of this movement, and that is the, the, and the perception. So you cannot have the perception without, without the movement. Mm -hmm. And um, so, uh, and this links to the familiar idea in solution focus and in the tradition of solution focus going back to MRI and stuff like that, that sometimes um, the old MRI idea that the problem is, is actually the attempted solution, but it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. But people do it uh, again and again. Repeat the same idea about what needs to happen to make a solution yeah. and, and it doesn't work yeah. and then you repeat it. Yeah, it doesn't work. They're, they are uh, uh, trying to fall asleep because they need to fall asleep. And the more they try to fall asleep, the less they fall asleep. Mm -hmm. so, so the behavior is not in sync with the goal. It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So it has to change in some ways. And it can change in all sorts of places, which is also an explanation for why different therapies work, because mm -hmm. they, they tap into the system in a different way. You can change the behavior. You can change how you look at things. Uh, you can sort of regulate or, or upregulate resources uh, to, to deal with these situations uh, differently in all sorts of ways. Because this problem is not mental, it is not just physical, it is not just environment, it is distributed in, in all of the system. Yeah. Uh, the beauty.